five categories of energetic weaknesses. All right. The first category is emotional. So uh, anytime when you experience any type of emotions, which is happiness, sadness, uh, irritation, frustration, anger. So if you have experience like that, that could cause you to have an energetic weakness. The second category is mental. Mental is anytime when you over worry about your finances, worry about relationships, school, anything when you're overthinking. Instead of being present and intuitive and not thinking, which let, letting the answers come to you, you're overthinking and then you're blocking what's actually in front of you. The third category is, uh, is uh, psychological. Is uh, anytime when you have a intense emotional reaction to something. Like, you know you're not afraid of, you know that like a little bug can't harm you, but, uh, but you like freak out, all right? You know, you're like, ah, for whatever reason, somebody played a prank on you when you are a kid, and then that one experience, every time you think about that, or see the sim something similar pattern that comes to you, you respond to it, you overreact to it. So that's a psychological weakness. The uh, fourth category is actually psychic slash empathy. And uh, uh, what happened is that, all right, we saw the example of two people that are in a relationship, their thumbs both had a soreness, okay? Sometimes people try to relate to each other, and what they do is they try to be empathetic. And what they do is by doing that, you're going to carry, you're going to take on other people's energies and their pains. So what I'm saying is you could relate to somebody, but you don't have to take on their pain either, okay? So that's a... Uh, that's a psychic and empathetic energetic weakness. Category number five is actually spiritual uh, energetic weaknesses. So that could be all-encompassing. That's your, your thoughts in relationship to your viewpoints on you know, your, your life, in your afterlife. You know, if you have ideology that says, if I do bad things, I'm going to be punished in the afterlife. Or if you feel like, okay, whatever I did in the past, I'm being punished for it now. So wherever you feel the energy weaknesses, you actually uh, make the energetic correction. All right, so that's a spiritual uh, cause. So, you know, of course, past lives, anything that, that it's, it's all encompassing to all these areas. This process is not depending on your spiritual viewpoints. It doesn't matter. Um, if a person is, comes from a Catholic background and a person that's come from a Hindu background, you can make corrections based on your Christian beliefs on the other person, and that person's pain can still go away. So it doesn't matter. It just it comes from your reference point. If you feel weakness, you correct it. If you come from a New Age background and you're working on somebody that's a Christian and you're using New Age ideology and you think about angels and you think about uh, all kind of you know, your own view viewpoints, your own reference points, and you feel weakness, you make the correction, the other person's issue will go away.